What is going on guys? We're gonna do a quick video here. Uh, I'm recording this again for the second time because the first attempt was not exactly accurate when I said quick video. We're gonna look really quickly at the last war and we're gonna talk a little bit about the difference between that and Clan War League. Clan War League is starting about 12 hours from now. So let's look at the last war. We had a chance to win this at the end. We didn't do it. Part of that's on me. Um, so I apologize for that. But I, I want to talk more uh, about the, the, the coordinating for trying to win a war like this. So this was a tough one because they had uh, multiple, they had two Town Hall 12s and we only have one. That puts a lot of pressure on Aiden in this case. Um, additionally, it means that they can kind of what I call push down. So in an ideal world, your top base would take the enemy's top two bases, and then the, and then your number two would take the enemy's three and four, and you would just push all the way down like that. So technically, about half of you would need to attack. That's usually not the way it works out, but that would be an ideal war, right? Everyone three stars every attack. One of the things for you guys to keep in mind is it becomes very, very difficult to coordinate um, wars like this if people aren't attacking. Because we need to make sure we secure some of the bases below before we can make kind of speculative or attempted attacks up above. So this came to play at some point. I was really, really waiting. Uh, I thought I was going to have to use both of Ridiculous's attacks on their bases, let's see, seven and eight, because I couldn't get enough people to attack the bottom bases. So I thought I was going to have to use my Gamgee attacks on some of those bottom bases. It came down to like the last couple hours, last few hours, and then finally some people started to show up. And that allowed us to do what I call push up, which is the opposite of push down. So if your bottom base can take the enemy's bottom two bases, and then your second to bottom can take the enemy's third, third and fourth to bottom bases, then you can push up. So that allowed us to push up uh, where I think like Gamgee here, I could take this uh, base eight. And that left us with a lot of attacks to attack their top bases. And this came in clutch. It would have come in more clutch if I was paying more attention. Um, we got to about the final hour and a half. And the biggest mistake that I made in the war was right here with my ridiculous account. Or my second ridiculous attack I used on their base two. And then Ronan came in right behind me. I guess that was with two hours left with about an hour and a half left. He three-starred their base two, which was easily the attack of the war. We'll, we'll take a look at this. It's maybe the best attack in our clan's short history. Um, really, really good attack for a Town Hall 11 to three-star Town Hall 12. Then we thought we had a chance for Boxy to three-star their number three. Now, if I would have held on to my second attack, we would have had two chances at it. Because, uh, I mean, really, there was no real chance for me to do anything against base two. I was just kind of speculating and hoping, wing and prayer. Um, I'm not good enough at Town Hall 11, let alone Town Hall 12 yet, but Ronan's got a good bit more experience with that. So that was a mistake I made. But uh, let, let's look at Ronan's attack. We're just going to let it play through because the truth is I don't know all of what's going on here, but a nice uh, bow witch. Uh, bowlers and witches with a couple golems to keep everyone safe. Uh, Ronan says this base is really uh, set up to uh, work well with the bow witch. So I, I guess that means good things for, for us and the fact that he was able to do this. Unfortunately, we weren't able to capitalize on that. I do like the use of he used three free spells kind of back to back to back to really allow his troops to survive the middle of that base, which is pretty cool. But really, really good attack. Unfortunately, we couldn't capitalize on that and win the war. So uh, so know this. I want to I talk now a little bit about the difference between kind of the hopes and expectations for our regular clan wars and this clan war league that's coming up. So in a regular clan war, uh, clan wars are are one with good attacks, but it's more than that. It's it's good attacks and a lot of coordination. Um, so let's we're gonna let this finish out here. Okay, boom, well done, Ronan.
attack of the war. Um, so regular clan wars are one with good attacks and coordination. So again, when we're waiting on some people to clean up lower bases like these 18 and 19 bases, that is holding up some people from trying to push up. And the more we can push up, the more chances we have at their top bases, which their top bases are going to be their most difficult ones. So we really want to uh, get our attacks in as early as possible, but we also don't want to um, rush into an attack and get a two star on it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys kind of as a barometer, as a measure, if you are a town hall ten or below, and you are not regularly, I'm not saying 100%, but not regularly three starring town halls of your level, that puts strain on the rest of the clan for a clan war in that every time you two-star base, say you're Town Hall 9, you get a two-star, that seems pretty cool because it's better than one or zero stars. But the truth is you've left an open star, and now we have to use a second attack to try to get that star to get to, for someone else to three-star the base. So if you are not regularly three-starring bases and you're Town Hall 10 or below, that becomes problematic. I will argue that as we increase that that will go up as well. So eventually at some point I'll be making a video saying if you are not if you are a town hall 13 and below and you're not regularly three starring bases, that's a problem. But know that the higher your town hall is, the harder it is to three star base. But that just means we have to learn more. So if you are not three starring a base, that's a problem. Also, if you are just randomly attacking bases without reading a clan mail, or if you are attacking bases that are significantly higher or below your town hall level, you're causing problems, unless you're asked to do so, right? So sometimes we have someone really high clean up a base that's really low. That happens because of just the coordination piece of things. Um, so I want to give a, another shout out to someone who has become very reliable, and that is someone who um, kind of attacks the sensible bases, waits for instructions, sometimes when it's unclear. Uh, and I know that if they are attacking... Uh, they're most likely going to get a three star. And again, that's not to say 100%, but we, that's, that's the goal. And so if we, if we go down here, I want to give a shout out to Big, who the first few wars, it was clear that he hadn't played a whole bunch. But um, now he is easily, you know, one of the more reliable Town Hall 8s, where I know if there's another Town Hall 8 that he's attacking, the chances are he's going to three star it. And he's not doing anything crazy like attacking a really high Town Hall 9 and saying, but I think I can get it. And he's also not attacking a Town Hall 5 and being like, gosh, I'm great. So big thank you for being reliable, getting your attacks in, lots of three stars. That makes wars really, really helpful. But now let's transition to the Clan War League, which is a bit different. So really in the Clan War Leagues, we're really just trying to accumulate as many stars as possible. So here's, here's what I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not as concerned about a three-star in a clan war league, although that's really the goal. But because of the structure of this, you only get one attack, and you may be up against a, a clan whose town hall levels are very different than ours, so maybe a lot higher, and so that may be difficult. But I will tell you the aim is still the same. Don't attack something that is so high that it's not reasonable. Don't attack something that's so low that you're making it harder on the... Uh, on your teammates who have town hall levels below yours. So attack something kind of in your range that you think you can safely two-star, maybe three-star. Um, and again, the goal is to accumulate as many stars as possible. We're not even worried about winning an individual matchup. Really, we're just worried about consistent effort, getting those stars over the course of the week. So I know typically we start out a house on fire and everyone attacks on day one. But by day seven, I'm begging people, like, please, we've, you know, we've only got five attacks. So if you want to be in the regular wars, the Clan War League is a great opportunity for you to show me that you're not running the same old two-star strategy without trying to make adjustments. It, it, you can show, demonstrate that you can be reliable, that you're going to attack all seven days of the Clan War. Uh, and you can demonstrate that... Um, you're not doing things that are unsensible at the at the expense of the rest of the clan. So if you can do those three things, we will see about getting you into the next clan war. Uh, but for now, just concentrate on that clan war league. It looks like we got a bunch of activity today, a bunch of people attacking each other's bases. That seems pretty cool. I don't know if any of you are doing it well or not, but uh, so I see a 
but that's a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 10, so that makes sense. But anyhow, uh, so Clan War League, stay attentive. Uh, attack as much as you can. Be active all seven days uh, and get as many stars as you can. If we can do that, we'll be in good shape and we'll avoid being demoted. So if you guys have questions about any of that, attack strategies you should, you should use or bases you should attack, just speak up and we'll get it all taken care of. Okay, We will see you guys in the Clan War League and we'll talk to you again soon.